After President Trump spoke about his predecessors earlier this week, two of them tonight are making rare public appearances. George W. Bush here in New York City, who has kept a very low profile since leaving office, now breaking his silence on what he's seeing in America today. Here's ABC's chief White House correspondent, Jonathan Carl. George W. Bush has avoided politics since leaving office. But today, the former president seemed to throw down the gauntlet, warning of the rise of, quote, bullying and prejudice in America. Bigotry seems emboldened. Our politics seems more vulnerable to conspiracy theories and outright fabrication. We've seen our discourse degraded by casual cruelty. At times, it can seem like the forces pulling us apart are stronger than the forces binding us together. The former president never mentioned the current president, but much of the speech seemed directly aimed at the words and policies of Donald Trump. We've seen nationalism distorted into nativism, We've forgotten the dynamism that immigration has always brought to America. And while Trump has been criticized for being slow to condemn racists, Bush drew a bright line. Bigotry or white supremacy in any form is blasphemy against the American creed. <laughs> Former President Obama was also making a rare public appearance today, campaigning for Democratic candidates in New Jersey and Virginia. Hello, everybody! No mention of President Trump, but also no mistaking his target. Some of the politics we see now, we, we thought we put that to bed. It's the 21st century, not the 19th century. Come on. And John Carl with us live from the White House as well. And John, back to former President George W. Bush today, because on Russian meddling, he said the Russian government has made a project of turning Americans against each other. Former President Bush really sounded the alarm on this, saying that Russian interference amounts to, quote, a sustained attempt by a hostile power to exploit our country's divisions. David? John Carl with us tonight as well. Thank you, John. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.